We are now being joined by Dr. Festus Okoye, who is the chairman of INEC Committee on Information and Voter Education. Welcome to the program, sir. And let's just get right into the first question. How exactly are the preparations for the upcoming rancor-free uh, elections? How are those playing out? Well, uh, we, we are preparing for two major governorship elections. Uh, the Kiti governorship election that we hold on the 18th day of um, uh, June uh, 2022 and the Oshun governorship election that we hold on the 16th day of July uh, 2022. Uh, we are also preparing for some by-elections. Uh, we have a by-election uh, in uh, just North Basa uh, Federal Constituency of uh, Plateau State. And we also have a state assembly election in, in the same Plateau State. Uh, we have a federal constituency election in um, Ogojayala Federal Constituency of Cross River and a state uh, assembly constituency election in the same state. And then we have the Akure North, Akure South uh, Federal Constituency election uh, in, in Ondo State. And then we have some other, um, uh, by, uh, and then we also have um, a by-election in, um, in, in, Imo, in Imo State, in Abombise. Uh, and we have also two other uh, by-elections, one in Shinkafi State constituency of Zanfra State that we have not scheduled, and one in, um, in, um, in, in, in Giwa State constituency of Kaduna State that we have not scheduled. The one for Ikiti uh, State Assembly election, um, uh, I think it's Ikiti East one. Uh, we are combining it with the Ikiti governorship election that will take place in June. Uh, so for all these elections, we are already preparing. And you also know that we have um, uh, area council elections in the federal capital territory, uh, which will take place on the 12th day of February uh, 2022. For all these elections, we are preparing and we are preparing well. And for the uh, area council elections, all the political parties had already conducted their primaries and submitted the uh, list and personal particulars of their candidates, uh, which has been published. We are mopping up the list, uh, the names of um, our ad hoc staff, and we, have, uh, we are almost ready with the names of our ad hoc staff. And as at present, we are configuring the uh, bimodal uh, voter accreditation device uh, that will be used for the election. Uh, so we are getting ready for all these elections that we have scheduled. Well, I would also like to know how you are preparing for the 2023 elections, especially the continuous voter registration. How far has INEC gone with that? Well, uh, you know, for the continuous voter registration exercise, uh, we, for the first time in the history of this country, uh, we deployed an online portal uh, through which people can do their pre-registration and thereafter uh, go to any of our state uh, offices or local government offices uh, for the purposes of capturing their biometrics. Uh, now, this um, a CVR has been taking place only in our state offices and local government and the 774 local government area offices of the commission. Uh, now, we started a consultative meeting with the uh, political parties yesterday. Uh, the meeting with civil society groups and organizations is ongoing at present. And then tomorrow, we are going to have a meeting uh, with the various security agencies. And then we we'll have one with the media on Friday. All these consultative meetings uh, are geared towards uh, providing a framework uh, for us to devolve the CVR uh, to um, uh, maybe the registration areas uh, so that more Nigerians will have an opportunity of registering and the registration areas uh, will, be, will be closer to them. Uh, we decided to do what we call a um, rollout and rollback system uh, based on security considerations. Uh, so we are going to meet with the security agencies where we have security challenges, we roll back, and where we uh, don't have security challenges, we roll out. Uh, so in the next few days, we are going to bring out a comprehensive timetable on how we are going to um, devolve the continuous voters registration exercise uh, down to um, the registration areas and to and to other places that will be accessible to the Nigerian people. But as of today, over 8 million Nigerians have complete, completed their pre-registration, uh, uh, have done their transfer, and those who have issues uh, with, uh, with their data or issues of transfer uh, have also done that. So we have, um, uh, we, we have over 8 million Nigerians who have interacted with our online portal and who have also done some uh, the fiscal registration uh, exercise. And still on the voter registration, um, we are getting reports that um, INEC is asking Nigerians to revalidate their PVCs. Can you confirm and clarify and give clarity uh, to these uh, reports? 
Well, uh, the commission has not issued any statement uh, asking Nigerians to revalidate their PVCs. What we have done and what we have said is that any Nigerian who wishes to transfer his or her PVC uh, from one state to the other or from one local government to the other or from one registration area to the other is free to do so. That any Nigerian that has his or her PVC damaged or whose information is no longer valid in relation uh, to the person's registration can go to our online portal and uh, make that necessary correction or go to the, uh, physically to our, our state or local government offices uh, to do that. And we're also asking those who have never registered before uh, to also, also do that. The PVCs that this particular commission have issued are valid and are still subsisting. Now, one thing Nigerians must know is that the commission previously used the smart card reader uh, for purposes of voter accreditation. But uh, for the Anambra governorship election, uh, we used the bimodal voter accreditation device, the BVAS, for the purposes of voter accreditation. And the BVAS uh, is, is a system that is very, very robust and very, very rugged. We use it both for voters registration, we use it for accreditation of voters, and also we use it for uploading of uh, pulling unit results. The data of registered voters is domiciled in the uh, BVAS itself. Uh, so what we do is that when a voter gets to the pulling unit, we will ask the voter for his or her uh, 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 permanent voter's card. And then we use the last name of the voter for purposes of calling up the uh, voter's uh, data from the, from the BVAS. If we don't use that, we can also use the VIN number in the permanent voter's card to call up the person's um, uh, uh, data that is domiciled in the beavers, or we, or we can use the QR code or the barcode uh, to call up the person's um, uh, 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 data. So the issue of um, uh, the uh, permanent voter's card expiring or no longer being valid does not arise, um, does not arise in the first place and does not arise at all uh, because we configure the beavers even before we get to the pulling units. So the data of all the registered voters in a particular uh, pulling unit are domiciled in the beavers itself. That's extremely useful to know, especially for continuity stake, uh, Dr. Okoye. Uh, let's move on to the recently passed um, Electoral Act Amendment Bill. We know that our House of Representatives and members in our Senate have been working very hard all day. Can you give us your opinions or any fears you might have about the outcome um, over the next coming weeks? Well, uh, I, I recall uh, uh, vividly that um, on the 28th day of April 2021, uh, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission appeared before the Senate Committee on the Independent National Electoral Commission when they were working on the National Electoral Offenses Establishment Bill 2021. And at that particular meeting, the chairman urged the House for an expeditious uh, passage of the Electoral Act Amendment Bill in order for us to have some level of clarity and some level of certainty going forward in relation to the electoral legal framework that will guide the conduct of the 2023 elections. Uh, we cannot close our eyes to the fact that we know what has happened, that a bill has been forwarded to the uh, President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and that he has returned the bill uh, back to the National Assembly and asked the National Assembly uh, to do some work in relation to that uh, particular bill. And we also are also aware that the National Assembly, as of today, has been meeting in relation to this bill. Now, the challenge here is that we, the Commission is urging all the parties involved to expedite action on this particular bill. This is because of the timelines embedded in the, in, in the bill that is pending before the National Assembly. As of today, we have 395 days uh, to the conduct of the 2023 general election because the Commission has said that the 2023 general election will start on the 18th day of February uh, 2023. So we have exactly 395 days. Now, if you, if you look at... Um, Clause 28 in this uh, a bill that is pending before the National Assembly. It provides that the Commission must give or shall give the notice of election, the notice of the 2023 elections, 360 days to that particular election. So the implication 
is that if the National Assembly does not finish work on this particular bill, and if the President does not sign it, and uh, uh, within this particular within a period of almost a month, the implication is that the 360 days uh, that uh, the Commission has been given to give the mandatory notice for the conduct of election becomes a, pro a problem, and the House has to go back, and the National Assembly has to go back uh, to rework it, so that the commission can Indeed. conform to the dictates of the law. Indeed. So there are very, very t serious timelines. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. You've made, you've, you, you know, you've made quite a, a number of points there. And in as much as we'd like to hear more from you, uh, that's the much we can take at this point in time. <laughs> Dr. Festus Okoye, who is chairman of INEC Committee uh, of Information and Voter Education, we do thank you for coming on the show.